Hi everybody, I just want to give you a quick update on some retopology improvements we have recently made. Many of you may know that there are retopology tools inside of both 3ds Max and Maya. Uh, what you may not know is that they are based on the same underlying algorithm. We introduced the features independently a few years ago and we've continued to iterate on them over several releases. Most recently, We've updated the Maya retopology tool with some nice new features as well as performance improvements, the ability to preserve features. Uh, another is the ability to apply symmetry. So with things like characters, you can have uh, symmetry axis and you can ensure that the retopologized edge flow spans across that axis in a symmetrical, even way. And you can also use criteria on the input mesh to drive the edge flow on the retopologized version of that mesh, to give you more control. Additionally, we've made performance improvements out of the box, just moving from my 2024 to my 2025, for instance. You'll see a 30% performance improvement without really having to change anything. This is because Reform is an Autodesk technology that is being developed aggressively for multiple products. It is used in media entertainment, but also in other industries such as manufacturing. There are lots of use cases where you may need to take existing either high res and or complex geometry and make it simpler and create a better topology. CAD data, scan data, photogrammetry, high res sculpts. Again, many use cases where you want to quickly retopologize a uh, mesh. So what we've announced most recently is something called flow retopology. Flow retopology is essentially the same retopologized tool that you have in Maya that has been externalized from the DCC. Uh, and is accessible uh, via a plugin in Maya. So when you download and install the plugin, uh, you have access to a flow retopology submitter and a flow retopology job monitor. And what this means is rather than freezing up the Maya UI and taxing your local resources for what could be a computationally expensive retopologized operation, you can select a mesh and submit that mesh to flow retopology and have it process in the cloud. So here you'll see in quick succession, we are selecting these three different meshes, submitting three different jobs. And then on the right, you can see in the job monitor, the status of those jobs. Once they're complete, we can then quickly import them into our scene that will download them and then bring them into the Maya scene in context. And as they're complete, we have access to the result of each. So here we've imported each result. You'll notice that Maya never froze. The viewport was accessible the entire time. And we were able to bring in the results once they were finished. So a few use cases. One would be if you have a very high resolution mesh that may take a lot of time to do locally, you can offload that process and have it compute somewhere else uh, so that you don't freeze your machine. Other use cases would be if you have lots of geometry, let's say you have 10 pieces of geometry and you want to retopologize all of them at the same time, you can submit jobs in quick succession and essentially run those jobs in parallel. And then another situation would be if you have a mesh and you want to retopologize, but you may want to use different settings and compare the results. Maybe you want different uh, LODs, different target face counts, or maybe you want to use different topology setting and then choose the one that best suits your needs. You could submit five different jobs for the same mesh and get five different results and use the one that, again, best suits your needs. So just to give you an idea of how the plugin works, with a mesh uh, like the one you see here, we're dealing with uh, quite a high resolution. This is over a million polygons. And as you can see, it's very, very dense. But I might want to actually use this for some other purpose, but I need to get it into a manageable state. So rather than retopologizing this locally using the mesh retopologize tool, which I know from experience will take a while on this particular mesh. It's kind of hard to predict, so it could take a couple of minutes, it could take 10 minutes, you just really don't know sometimes. So I'm going to open up the Create New Retopo Job from the Flowgraph Engine menu. Uh, this will be available once you've loaded the plugin. When I open up the Job Submitter and I select the, the mesh that I want to retopologize, that will automatically load that as the active mesh for the submitter. I can use the existing job name or I can name this myself. Uh, I choose an output location uh, and then I choose a target face count. So let's say I want to start out with something around 30,000 faces. I do have the ability to apply things like symmetry. So I'll choose in this case along the x-axis. I want to 
make sure the edge flow goes across the symmetry line. If I wanted to, I could go in and I could set my topology settings. I could set my feature preservation settings. Uh, I'm not going to do that in this case. You'll notice that the pre-process option has been removed from this version of the feature. Whereas in the regular Maya retopologize tool, we do have a pre-process option. This is meant to increase performance, but as a result of pre-processing, you'll often lose quality. So what we've done with flow retopology is we have automatically determined on the back end if pre-process is required or not. And so when you submit, uh, it will analyze your mesh uh, based on the settings and it will decide for you if it needs to be pre-processed in order to complete. So now I'll simply submit that. That will uh, upload the mesh to the cloud service and add that to the queue. So now I can open up my job monitor and the job monitor will update with the current list of jobs. You can see I've had one previously submitted that I canceled. I have one that is submitted, which is the blue crab that I'm working on now that is scheduled. So now this is processing in the background. In the meantime, Maya is completely free. I can go back to the viewport. I can open up another scene. I can continue to work. And as long as I monitor the status of the job and the job monitor, I will be notified once this is complete. Now you can see it's moved into the computing phase. So I do get updates along the way to let me know the status of the job. But again, this is a pretty high resolution piece of geometry and I'm expecting a quality result. So this may take a while, but that's okay. I can keep working and import the result of the job when it's ready. So now you can see the job is complete. If I go into the details, I can get information about when the job was processed, how long the job took to process and so on. Uh, here you can see uh, the settings that I used with the associated job. In this case, it took 7.8 minutes to be exact. Uh, that's something I wouldn't have necessarily wanted to, to wait on. So I was able to continue working, uh, again, come back, get a notification when I'm done, and then import the resulting mesh. And so now what you can see is a retopologized version of that same exact crab. And if I kind of start to look at some of the details, I can see it did preserve quite a bit of the, the detail. Uh, and it also leveraged the symmetry attribute to make sure that I have nice edge flow. So there you have it. The Flow Retopology tool is available for download. If you want to learn more about it, you can go to the associated Flow Retopology documentation and learn more about the overall process and workflow, as well as information about the actual submitter as well as the job monitor. In order to set up Flow Retopology, you simply go to your Autodesk account, find the Maya section, and for 2025, just click on View Details. And under Extensions, you will see Flow Retopology for Maya. And of course, depending on the platform, if you're working on Windows or if you're working on Mac or Linux, you just filter for the uh, platform that you're working on and you download Flow Retopology for Maya and install it and you're good to go.